Hi, I'm back, and today I thought I would make some ketchup out of my purple tomatoes. These are my purple tomatoes, onions, garlic, and uh, peppers, all um, chopped up together, and then I froze it. I have several of these frozen, and I can use them to make salsa or ketchup or, you know, different sauces and things, different recipes. So it is thawed out. Um, I have about two cups here. And I'm going to blend it. It's already chopped up, but I want it to be blended up really, really uh, into like a puree. So I have a blender here. Pour this in here. Oh, purple that is. I'm just going to blend it up into a nice smooth consistency, or hopefully. It'll be a little foamy from blending it up, but once all that air bubble settle out of there, it'll become darker again. There's still some left in here, but I'm going to pour some vinegar in here and swish it around and get all that out of there. There we go. That's just uh, about uh, half a cup of white vinegar put in there. That's all pink now. I'm just going to pour that right in this pan here. The tomato stuff here. I'm going to go ahead and pour the vinegar in. So this is about, you know, actually it's about a cup. It's about a cup of vinegar. And then I'm going to add about almost half a cup of sugar. So there's half a cup of white sugar. I'm going to add a little bit of mustard powder. Since there's already garlic and onions in this, I don't want to add that to it. So just sugar, vinegar, and a little mustard powder. And uh, I'll probably add about maybe a quarter teaspoon of salt. And some mustard powder. It's about halfway, halfway there. It's almost done. It's really dark. It's kind of a brown, kind of purple color. I want it to be nice and smooth, so I'm putting it in here and pushing it through here. And once it's all pushed through here, it should be nice and smooth. Yeah, see, that looks nice. I think ketchup there. Okay, I'm messy clean up here, but I have a little jar of purple ketchup. And this is the pulp. That I decided to stop squeezing things. I'm gonna save this and add it to something pretty sweet and good tasting, so I don't want to throw it away. Um, but yeah, I'll add that to something which up here. It looks pretty good, I think. So I need to clean up this whole mess here, and I'll be back once this cools down, and I'll make some fries. Okay, I'm back. I have some fries and my sandwich here, and my ketchup. Look how dark it is. Mmm. Tastes like ketchup. <laughs> mm. It's so crazy dark. <laughs> it's kind of like grape jelly or jam or something. Hmm. Just tastes like ketchup though. It's really good. I made ketchup before, just uh, never with purple tomatoes. My eyes closed though. We just think it was ketchup that I made. I think with red tomatoes or something. I guess there's a little bit of fruitiness to it that the tomatoes kind of have sometimes anyway, I think. The purple ones. And they have almost a, a blackberry kind of aftertaste. And um, I can kind of taste it in the ketchup, I guess, when I think about it. It's really good. Excuse me. I have some more here. Uh, it'll last me a little while. I mean, I eat ketchup quite often, but it just depends on uh, what I'm having. I love it with french fries. I can't really have fries without ketchup. Hmm, let's use the messy plate. I like to make some usually more than this, a few times a year, um, just because I, I love ketchup. It's so easy to make. Why buy um, ketchup from the store? You don't even know what's in it, really. Usually it's corn syrup and uh, tomato-flavored water <laughs> with thickeners. Anyway, hope everyone has a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Bye.